suppose you have a set of pens p okay so the set of pens you are having is denoted as p here so can you see the colors of pens you are having a blue one a red one purple yellow and green now your friend he is having these colors say a set of pens named as h so this set of pens is denoted as set h which your friend is having now tell me is your friend having the same pens as you are having check for the colors well yes if you match the colors you will see these are the same pens which you are having but the difference is what they are arranged in a different order than yours so that is the same thing we know that in sets two sets are equal only when they are same but the order does not matter so here you can see that your pens and your friend pens are the same see check for the colors but the order is different but that does not matter so we can say that set p is equal to set h so you know what are equal sets here now take this example here set a is equal to x such that x is a prime factor of 30 whereas b is 2 3 and 5 so b is given in roster form and a is given in set builder form so let us write the set a in roster form and see whether set a is equal to b or not so write it what are the prime factors of 30 well i can see that the prime factors of 30 are 2 3 and 5 so set a is 2 3 5 and we have already been given that set b is 2 3 and 5 so can you tell me whether a is equal to b or not well you can see that each element of a is equal to each element of b so we can say yes a is equal to b so sets are called equal if they have the same elements you can see that now let's take another example here a is a b and c first three letters of the english alphabet whereas b refers to or the set b is a d and c now can you tell me whether a is equal to b or not you know sets are equal if they have the same elements irrespective of the order but here you can see that each element is not the same well a is the same b is not the same when c is the same so the set a has a small letter b which is not there in the set b and the set b has a small letter d which is not there in set a so we can say that set a is not equal to b right now do you recall what a cardinal number of a set is remember cardinal number of a set is the number of distinct elements in a set remember what is cardinal number well in the same example here we can see that the cardinal number of a is what tell me what is the cardinal number of a here 1 2 3 what is the cardinal number of b One, two, three. So now you know what is cardinal number of a set. Again, we are having an example here where we are having two set of pens, set A and set B. Now, if I ask you whether set A is equal to B or not, you can just look at the elements and tell me that no, A is not equal to B. Why? Because you can see that there are some colors in A which is not there in B, such as this blue color, not there. this yellow color not there similarly this brown and white color is not there in set a so we can just by looking at the elements tell that a is not equal to b now we have just recalled what a cardinal number of a set is so tell me the cardinal number of a 1 2 3 4 five what about cardinal number of b 1 2 3 4 5 again 
both the sets are having different pens, but the number of pens in each set is the same. So do we have any special name for these sets? Well, yes. Sets with the same cardinal number are said to be equivalent sets. So here, though A is not equal to B, set A is not equal to set B, but both have the same cardinal number. That means the number of pens in both the sets are same. So they will be known as equivalent sets. So how will we write equivalent sets? We know that a set A when equal to B is written like this. But here, set A is not set equal to set B. It is equivalent to set B. So how will we write it? We will write set A is equivalent to set B. So this symbol is used to denote equivalent sets. Now, it is not necessary that both the sets should have pens only. Or you, if you say that both these sets should have vowels only, then only they can be equivalent sets. Well, it is not that. Both can have any different thing. For example, set A may have pens, set B may have uh, burgers, but then the number of elements in both of them should be same. Look here, we are having some examples for you. Here we are having set A, set B and set C. Now they are written in descriptive form. You can see that. Can you write them in roster form and give me the answer? Let's write it together. What is set A? Positive odd numbers less than or equal to 10. What are positive odd numbers? Well, 1, 3, 5, 7 and so on. And they should be less than or equal to 10. So what are the positive odd numbers less than or equal to 10? Well, 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. 10 will be included. No, it is an even number, so it will not be included. So let us write set A in roster form. There we go. What about set B and set C? Let's write set B. Set B of positive even numbers less than or equal to 10. Now tell me what are the positive even numbers? 2, 4, 6, 8 and so on. The positive even numbers. Now we have to write them less than or equal to 10. So let us write 2, 4, 6, 8. Now is, will 10 be included? Yes, we have this equal to sign here, which denotes that 10 will also be included if it is a positive even number. So yes, 10 is a positive even number, so we will include 10. Right? Now set C of positive even numbers less than 10. So now you can write this on your own. Positive even numbers, again 2, 4, 6, 8 and so on. But it will not be equal to 10. It will be just less than 10. So we will write 2, 4, 6, 8. Here, we have written all. Now tell me, which are the equal sets here? Well, look at these sets. Do you find equal sets here? Set A, no different elements in set B. Set B and C. Well, you may be confused that whether set B is equal to set C because 2, 4, 6 and 8 are present in both. But you can see that set B has the element 10 also. But set C does not have that element 10. So both are not equal. Okay? Set A and set C, well, totally different elements. So none of them are equal sets here. We know that there are one more type of sets that are called equivalent sets. Now let us check the cardinal number of these three sets and see whether do we get any equivalent sets here. So tell me the cardinal number of A. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So the set A has 5 elements in it. Similarly, set B. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Set B also has 5 elements in it. So the cardinal number of B is 5. What about set C? 
one, two, three, four. Four elements. Now, to check whether any two sets are equivalent or not, what do we see? That their cardinal number should be equal. So, tell me, which of them have the same cardinal number? You can see both set A and set B have the same cardinal number. So, you, we can conclude that set A is equivalent to set B. Now, here we will play a small game. Let us see, we will get some questions here. We will get, you can say, two sets and then we will classify them into equal or equivalent. Now, you have to help me doing that. Set D is positive odd numbers less than 8 and set E is positive even numbers less than 9. So, here you can see that both are having different elements. So, will they be equal? No, both have different elements, not the same element. So, they will not be equal. What about being equivalent? What do we check? Their cardinal numbers. So, let us check 1, 2, 3, 4. So, cardinal number of D, 4. Cardinal number of E, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, now can you tell me they are equal or equivalent? Well, equivalent. Right? So, these two sets, set D and set E are equivalent sets. Now, again, we are having a question here. Again, one set builder, one roster. So, converting both of them to first, which roster form? Set M is X such that X is even prime number. Can you tell me what are prime numbers? Well, 2, 3, 5, 7 and so on. Which is the only even prime number, can you tell me? Well, 2, 3, 5, 7, 11 and so on are prime numbers. Now, I can see that 2 is the only even prime number. Why? Because any other even number will be divisible by 2. They won't remain any prime number. So, 2 is the only even prime number. So, set M is actually what? 2. And we have already been given that set N is 2. So, are they equal or equivalent? Tell me. I can say that these both sets are what? Equal. Because they have the same element. So, this set is equal. What about being equivalent? Well, that is a sure thing that if two sets are equal, that means they have the same number of elements. That is why they are equal here. So, we can say that here, Cardinal number of M is equal to cardinal number of N. Right? So, these sets are equal as well as equivalent. So, let us place it in both the places. So, we finish this. Now, again, one more. Here we have set J and set L. Okay? Tell me, equal or equivalent? You should know after doing this example. Well, I can see that both of them have the same elements. Exactly the same elements and even the order is same. Both are having 2, 4, 6, 8. So again, equal sets. What about being equivalent? Check their cardinal number. Well, again, this is just common sense. Whether... If two sets are equal, they have to be equivalent. Why? Because having the same elements mean having the same number of elements also. So, we can say N of J is equal to N of L. So, this is equivalent as well. Now, again, one more example we are having. Now, you need to tell me whether this is equal or equivalent. Well, set A is the Vowels of English alphabet, A, E, I, O, and U. And set B is the first five alphabets of the English alphabet. So, A, B, C, D, and E. Well, I can see that they have some common elements like A and E. But all the elements are not same. So, they cannot be equal. What about being equivalent? Tell, them, tell me their cardinal numbers. 
Well, cardinal number of A is again 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And cardinal number of B, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So their cardinal number is same. That means they are equivalent. So this will lie in this equivalent table. So we have completed this table. So you can see that all equal sets are equivalent. That means if they have the same element, so their number of elements will also be the same. So all equal sets are equivalent. Now answer this question. Are all equivalent sets equal? Let's see. Look at them. You can see all equal sets are equivalent also. But what about all equivalent sets? Well, some equivalent sets can be equal, but all equivalent sets are not equal. So you can say all equal sets are equivalent, but all equivalent sets are not equal. There can be some equivalent sets which are equal also. Now here we are having a question. So of this, set A is 1, 2 and 3, whereas set B is 9, 10 and 11. Can you tell me is A equal to B or not? Simple question, just by looking at the elements, you can say that no, both are not equal. They are having exactly the different elements. So A is not equal to B, right? What about cardinal number of A and cardinal number of B? Yes, cardinal number of A is equal to cardinal number of B. 1, 2, 3, cardinal number of A. 1, 2, 3, cardinal number of B. So this set can be denoted as which set? Equal or equivalent? Well, you can say that this, these two sets A and B are equivalent sets. So now you are clear with what is equal and equivalent sets. Let's summarize. Equivalent sets are sets which have the same number of elements. They should have the same cardinal number. Now, equal sets are sets with exactly the same elements. Each and every element should be present and should be same in both the two sets.